It's gonna sound weird, but God's not like my grandma. <laughs> Look, I love my grandma, but I realize that she and God differ in one major way. God doesn't pour on the guilt for not calling or visiting. Let me explain. I love you, grandma. When I was younger, my mom would tell me to call my grandma. And I love my grandma, but the conversation was always a little awkward because I was an awkward junior higher and my grandma couldn't hear very well. When I went away to college, it became my responsibility to call and connect with my grandma. And I wasn't very good at it. When I would call, she would always say the same thing to me. She would laugh a little and say, I thought I was never going to hear from you again. And when I would visit, she'd always make a comment about how I didn't visit enough. The conversations and visits were always meaningful to me. But I always felt guilty for not being around more, and I probably should have been. But here's what I realized. God doesn't react to our distance the same way my grandma did. When we haven't prayed in a long time or shown up to church in ages, and we feel the urge to enter back in, it's tempting to feel guilty or ashamed. We imagine God will be like my grandma and comment on how long it's been. But God's not passive aggressive. He's aggressive in his grace. Jesus tells us a story to help us understand this. There's a son who walks out on his dad, takes a moral vacation, and wrecks his life. He knows he needs to return home, but he's afraid. He fears his dad's going to reject him. When he finally works up the guts to go home, his dad blows him away with his response. As he gets close to the house, his dad sees him, and he's so overjoyed that he runs to him, wraps him up, and then pulls him in. The dad doesn't pour on any guilt. He throws a party. And his older brother tries to make him feel guilty, but dad steps in and tells his older brother to back off. Jesus tells us this story so that we can know how God, our Father, reacts when we return. If you're thinking about reaching out to God in prayer, or maybe stepping back into church, be confident that God won't be passive aggressive. He will be aggressive in His grace. He will accept you. And if anyone tries to make you feel ashamed, know that your God has your back. If you're thinking about coming back to God, I want to say on his behalf, welcome home. Let's celebrate. If you like this video, please help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing with friends. I'm committed to creating weekly inspiration to become fully alive. Stay in touch with me and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, or come visit me in person at my church, Friends Orange. If you want to contact me, you can find that information at jhewitt.org.